Hello and welcome to Ghost of a Tale. This is uh, definitely something a little bit different for the channel. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of an action RPG game that is out on Steam Early Access. I was just smitten with the art style and kind of the world that I did see so far. And um, I wanted to record this for you guys so you can maybe go pick it up yourself if you want to have some fun. Um, essentially what you are, that you are a mouse bard, and you are going through some type of keep, uh, navigating its dangers, and through stealth and cunning, you'll be able to, uh, explore its secrets. So, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I haven't played any of this game before, so I don't really know what's going on at all. It's been out for a couple days. I did see Jim, uh, Sterling play a couple minutes of it, and that's how I found it. So here we go. All right, in the beginning was the green flame, a force without conscience consuming all in its path. All right, the creatures of the world fought back, but one by one they fell, only to rise again as puppets of the emerald fire. It was the rats alone who stood and fought until at last, at Periclave, the green flame was extinguished. Okay. Well, sounds like there's no journey to be had. We already won. Mira. Where are you, Mira? Oh, look at that. I'm a freaking mouse or a rat. I mean, I'm small, so I'm assuming I'm more of a mouse. Oh, wow. This looks pretty... Very pretty, especially for like something that you see on Steam Greenlight. I am using mouse keyboard controls. Uh, this does have uh, support for a controller, but I do not have one, surprisingly enough. But, you know, this is a good test and the mouse is inverted. I am going to see if I can't change that. There we go. That that makes a little bit more sense. I don't know who played with an inverted mouse, but they're a fool. So no time to sleep. There's a red rose. Let's uh, click on it. Oh wow, this is this is a lot of reading. Oh boy. Let's see. You stood before the Baron, your wife Mira, at your side. He bid you play the poison cup, and you knew. This is actually kind of hard to read because just the old font here. Okay. And you knew then this was not for his amusement, but a test. And so play you did. But for but for Mira there was only silence and a look of such defiance. Oh, a little bit of a rhyme. Let's see. He struck her and you cried out and went to her. And then darkness. How many days passed since then? In your heart you knew she's still alive and that you'll one day find her. Until then, all you have are these flowers, your memories of her, and question, why? Okay, only one page. So, the king obviously uh, wanted to, I guess, probably test our loyalty by playing some sort of song, and our wife didn't like that. Uh, chamber pot, nothing inside. Oh, I'm inside, I'm inside a little, this is quaint, very quaint indeed. Apple core, pressing tab, brings up your inventory, candlestick, the candle is missing of course. There's actually a full inventory, weapons, fire, poison, falling, There's. this is a full RPG, this is pretty cool. So these are tools, let's go to food. Um, this is our health bar on the top left. Let's go ahead and eat this apple and uh, Mushroom and apple core. We'll just start with full HP and go from there I think that'd be a good thing to do. All right, right click. This is stealth mode. You can see our adorable little stealth animation. Oh It's so cute Goddamn cute. This is why I wanted to play this game. Just looking at the art style and uh it's just so different to play an animal over a human. Mysterious message underneath the bread? Find me. Cover your tracks and move unseen. S. Selkie. K. 
Okay. We use the cell key. Okay. Easy does it. We have escaped our cell. Let's go ahead and loot this. A sackcloth hood and two candle. So I'm assuming that'll be useful for when it's dark. Let's go ahead and shut our door behind us. In case there was anything behind it. These are the types of games where you have to search every nook and cranny. Name, Tillo. That is the name of her character. Profession, minstrel. Offenses, act of sedition. Hmm. Well, okay then. Let's uh, go ahead and... It's locked. You have attracted guard's attention. Quick, go into the chest and hold. Left and mouse button to hide. Don't forget to hide in many different places. All right, in we go. Nothing to see here. Oh, wow, you're big. You're a big rat. Okay, oh, go on. Good. Bye, rat. Alright, we're gonna hop out. And we're just gonna... You can run really fast on all fours. Left shit to sprint. Even though I just said shit instead of shift. Let's, uh... Loot some stuff. Here is a bag. I'll sprint. Oh, oh, I'm running on all fours. This game's freaking adorable. I love it. Okay. Let's grab some grain. And I love the hat. The little bell on it. My little freaking instrument. My little pouches. The twine. Everything. I did get a new hat, though. So let's see. Your humble minstrel's hood and a sackcloth hood. It looks like this is an upgrade. It gives me more stamina regen. So we will equip that. Oh, it does look different. So I'm happy the items do look different based on what you're wearing. It's always a bonus. I'm hearing something in here. Door lever. Inside we go with the frog pirate with the peg leg and pipe. Well, that is definitely unique. Green bug. Mushrooms. There's a book on the ground. He's got a lantern. Old pirate frog. Fer <laughs> okay. Ferret's balls. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say that uh, uh, with a straight face. Okay. What do you think you're doing, Mousy? Barging into my cell and invited. Do you know who I am? No. Because I have no idea. Uh, we'll go with... I don't know your name. No, wait. Carol Red Whiskers. That's it. Carol Red Whiskers. At least I was. Navigator of the Lake Witch. Under Captain Otto Powder Keg. Okay. So there's even footnotes and all this backstory stuff. We're just kind of skimming over that for now. So you've come to rob me, have you, you little scrunt? Of course not. Two things I can't stand. The smell of mice and the smell of lies. What will it take to get your stink out of my cell? Did you help me? Yeah, no. Yeah, you're kind of stuck there. I don't think you are the one that helped us. Does it look like I could help you escape? I don't know. I, I imagine there's a lot you don't know. Okay, I like this guy. He's spunky. Super spunky. I need your help. Is that right? And what's in it for me? Well, why would you want to be free? Being free is what got me put in here in the first place. That and the piracy thing. I think it's more of the second item in this. No, I've got everything I need right here. Damp air, all the flies I can eat in my own stool. Well, you own a lot, I guess. But there is something. Down the corridor, the sleeping guard. I need you to strangle him. Whoa, this got dark real quick. Why? Because he called me a pirate. What? Okay, it's like being okay. unforgivable. You know what? I'll help you. I like you. We'll see what we can do. 
All right, come on, laddie. I'm pulling your leg. I never ask you to do something like that. I'll do it myself when the time's right. Why don't you just steal a bottle of his rot gut for me, and then I'll see if I can't help. Okay, sounds like some type of alcoholic beverage. Very much like a part. All right, well, we'll find the sleeping guard and go from there. Um, the camera does control a little weird. It definitely feels like it. Ooh, a stick. What is this? You picked up a useful tool. There are many such items in the world. Press E to use throw tool. Probably to make noise. Uh, cycle through tools. And equip a tool, unequip a tool. Uh, would be great if they gave me computer controls to look at instead of keyboard. Or, uh, okay. Let's see here. Sprint, sneak, inventory, tab. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see, is it a combination? Is it D-pad, up, plus, left, right, mouse wheel, right click, left click. Okay, I have no idea. Let's take some green, though. We'll figure out everything as we go along. Sure, it won't be too difficult. We are just in the first zone. I don't know how long to make these episodes. If you guys want longer episodes, feel free to let me know. I'm thinking we're going to start about 30 minutes. Dwindling Heights Keep. So that is the name of the keep we are in. You can hear the pirate making a whole bunch of noise in there. Oh. Okay, the guard is asleep. So that's the sleeping guard. Okay, so we got a bug. And there is a door here. You need to find a key. Yes. Well, I threw the stick. I didn't mean to. I am sneaking. Sneaking, I am. Ooh, an apple. Enemies awareness grows as you move. Stay still to make it decrease. Okay, so it appears over their head. So we just stop for a bit. Be quiet. That's the thing about sneaking. It's not about moving quickly because movement really alerts to your presence. So it's all about moving very slow. Auto rock gut. So we have the rum. Also take the empty bottle. Uh... Okay, I'm going to try something, and this is going to be really stupid, but... Oh, okay. Nope. Bye. Okay, so, can't really break a bottle over his head safely. Uh, uh... Bye. Run, run, run. Okay, so we're going to get in this chest, like so. Did he see us? All right, so question mark. Now, it would definitely be a pain if you actually looked in items. But it looks like it does not. All right, so attacking the guard without a proper weapon. Might not be the best. Let's go ahead and look in our inventory. We have a uh, rope belt. This is made out of twine, which is pretty cool. Here's some tools, candlestick, ears. Oh, you can get ears, ear clothing and stuff. Let's go ahead and heal by eating an apple. Uh, there's nothing interesting with the bugs. I don't know what the bugs do then. I guess they just give uh, HP. Bread. And you have to eat something to test what it actually gives. That's interesting. I, I kind of like that aspect. It, 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 it really forces you to kind of test things out fully. Figuring of your child. I have a child, Bryn? Okay. Candle you could use with your candlestick. My trusted loot. And a bottle of rock gut. Keys. No new keys. Lore. Okay, wow. That, that's just too much to even dive into right now. Let's go over here. Good thing I left that door open. Alright. Let's see the pirate real quick. 
Caroled. Okay, I can't really say that word. I'm gonna give it my best shot here. Pusillanimous. That's good? I hope? No? Okay. What does it mean, this word? Well, uh... It sounds like you were calling me a pussy. Lack courage. Ah, in that case, what are you doing, my pusillanimous little merkin? Here's the bottle! Now pop the bottle's neck twixt my lips. Okay. The death flick of its head, the frog sends the bottle spinning across the cell where it shatters. Every time that scrunt gets soused, I have to put up with his damn snoring. Well, no more! Are you gonna help me now? Word as a pirate, but I suppose I can make an exception. What is it that you want? Uh, do you speak mouse? Obviously he does, that's a wasted question. What dungeon is this? You are in Dwindling Heights Keep on the Shore Lake Valia. We best get used to it. Do you speak mouse? Only the curse words. <laughs> All right, that's proper. I can't, uh, I can't scroll back up. Why can't I scroll back up? Don't let the door snap your tail. Wow, you are extremely rude, but I like it. And now here you are. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't, can't. Can I just scroll back up? Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to fiddle with the controls, maybe. See if uh, there's something to do for next episode. I'm sure he has something important to tell me, but you know, I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm just gonna do that. So we need to find a key. I'm assuming the sleeping guard has something to do with it. Considering I can't get any more information out of that damn frog. So we're just gonna go over here. Stop. My question is... Ooh, a bucket! Okay. Let's see. So maybe we can use that to climb on places. There's our candlestick. There's a place to hide. Uh, let's pick up the bucket again and move it out of the way so we can actually access the door. Inside we go. Sneak. You never know what you're going to find in these stealth games. Like, what what all is going to be in here? I'm kind of glad there's no stamina bar when it comes to your actual stealth. Door. Without a key, it's hopeless. Oh, boy. Keys, keys, keys. Let's hop up here. If only you had the key, yeah. It's all about finding keys. All right, bucket. I didn't mean to pick you up. I meant to pick up the bug. Give me the bug. There we go. It's proper. Now, obviously, we have to sneak past this guard, I guess. There's nothing we can really do to him. Okay, that way's clear. Ah, good. I was worried the symbol, I would have to constantly look back at it, but any of those warning symbols pops up. As long as you're uh, within range, I suppose. The screaming door. It's locked. Great. Does he have keys on his belt? What is that? That looks like a key. Screaming door key. All right, a thief we are. Oh, stop. So, uh, he'll just keep on snoring, sleeping away. We'll go through the screaming door, which will probably make a loud noise, causing him to chase us. So, obviously, this is named for a reason. Oh, he didn't wake up. Well, okay. Chest! What's in here? You didn't find anything. Okay, got a bug. At least we got that. Uh-oh! Oh, oh, no, no, no. 
Uh oh. You saw nothing. You stupid rat. Okay, so now to wait. Now I could probably hop out and just sneak. Nope. Gonna have to be patient. Nice halberd, by the way. That's a really nice one. The art style is very, very much to my liking. I like this, this style that they're going for. How quickly do you turn around? I'm gonna have to time this out a little bit. Maybe get back in the box. Oh, fuck. Okay, in the box. Check. As soon as he passes us, we'll hop out and uh, go the way he came. Okay. All right, let's let's check here first. I'm hearing a noise. There is a sleeping rat in there. This guard's coming back, so we'll just stay hidden. And there's a door on that side with a lever, so we'll probably have to switch that. Now the question is, if he has a key, and do we have to steal something from him? That is, that is all up in the air right now. We don't have enough information. Can't tell if that's a guard in there or a prisoner. Come on, hurry up and uh, go away. Oh, this is adorable! <laughs> I love this game. Okay, so we got a stool. We got some bottles. Can I read the note? Um. Here, let's do that. Oh. <laughs> I love that animation. Boyfriend nails guard disorderly conduct. Uh oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I heard you coming. You and your plate mail makes a lot of noise, Mr. Rat. Okay, so we'll hang out in here. Look at my cute little ears twitching and my nose sniffing everything. This is this is a very nice world that they're building here. Everything's very, uh, you know, everything's matching together. Everything's telling a story and it's it's just really nice okay so guard gone we don't have a key for that Ooh, we have a key right there though oh no we need the stool okay come on quick 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 and inside we go yes don't notice the stool is magically there now um, you're, um, rats are supposed to be smart, though. They would, I would assume, notice the difference. Or at least smell me. I mean, I'm definitely different than a rat. I wouldn't smell like a normal guard. I don't know, maybe his... It's just not noticeable in how many times he walked back and forth. Who knows the reasoning. But I'm liking interacting with the objects in the world. Everything's feeling very kind of... You know, self-explanatory, but also very um, interesting to try and figure out. Oh, okay, up we go. Begging door key. Is this the begging door? Yes, it is. Now, I could have gone across that bridge first, but I saw that key, and I just couldn't help myself. Definitely a game about exploration, though. So I might have to circle back. You know, maybe I should have grease jar. I, I have no idea what that is. Inventory tools. Let's see, grease jar. Used by the blacksmith to lubricate stiff hinges and restore rusted armor. And by the cook to fry turnips. Oh! I can equip the little candle. 
Adorable! Everything about this game is 10 out of 10. Okay, so we got sticks, which I can grab. Let's grab about five sticks or so. Now, are we... Well, we don't even know what time it is. It's question mark, question mark, guys. Is there a uh, inventory weight limits? Incident log. Private Hearth given two days in jail for not wearing his full army, armor, not army, he doesn't have an army, in the courtyard. Private Ingar struck and brand by falling, by, by falling drawbridge after winch break failed, mechanism still unstable. Private Gaff left addled by falling barrel. Private Fuel? Jewel? Mm, can, can never tell with those old fonts. Uh, wager two florins so you could jump the pit. Funeral to be held tomorrow. Private Scree taken by spiders in the lower level. Private Barfon drunk on duty assigned to the Screaming Gate for one week. Okay, that explains what he did. Thief boots! Oh, there's an actual set. And hey, look! Like, there, he, he gets a bandana over his nose. It's a little piratey. Not so much thief, but, you know. Uh, too Long's costume is said to consist of thief hat and etc. So, clothes. Thief boots. Pair of boots to give thief in it. Nice! I really, I really like games and RPGs that really encourage, um... Warning. Do I need the stool over here or something? Hold on. You can't carry any more tools of this type. So how did I craft again? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember at all. Uh, let's unequip that because that could go badly if I accidentally throw the stick at the guard again. Not something I suggest doing. Okay, looks like we need to go the other route. Oh, here comes Mr. Rat. Hiding in the corner here. They are a little intimidating, you know? I mean, rats rats can be pretty creepy. I'm just a little mouse, though. Adorable. Need to find a good spot to probably call this episode done. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just a mouse. Okay. Door lever. What's in here? We got uh, some fake cards. Books. Mysterious message. Mirror's book. Song book. Miss. Fake cards. An arcane card used to divine one's fate. A drawer. We got a cupboard key. What else can we take? Seems like everything has kind of a purpose. So there's the cupboard up there. We might have to grab the stool from across the hallway and grab that. Let's wait for the guard to move again. Um, is there anything else I can grab? Brain. Brain. Basically little health potions, drawers. Can I look at both drawers? I can, that's good. All right, let's grab this stool. Excuse me, just let me waddle on over here. All right, we can put this down in front of the cupboard. Climb on up for our little reward here. Cupboard, we got a bottle. Joy. Okay, sneak across. There's a bed here. That's pretty nice. Sleep. I have to test that out. We can hide as well. Okay. That's pretty nice. It's a nice little, uh, I guess, armoire almost. So what does sleeping do? You don't feel tired. Maybe it restores stamina. Okay, so we can climb up that. 
I can climb up a lot of things here. Barrel? A stick? I don't think we can get any more of that. More barrel. Cupboard. Sackcloth hood. So we already have two of these, though. There's some candles up there. A chest. Pirate baldric in a hornet's nest. Okay. So pirate is another outfit. It's a little bit more priority than the last one for sure. Eye patch. Oh, okay. So apparently that means that that nest. Okay, 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 okay. Let me let me just uh, eat some food because obviously the hornets did not like me at all. Come on. What? Oh, hey, uh, you're a guard. Let me just. Bye. Ha! I could have sealed him in that room. That's what I should have done. Because I don't think there's a lever on the other side. Yes, yes, walk by. Okay, cool. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Alright, freedom. Yeah, why isn't there a lever on the other side in here? Did we grab everything besides the apple? That's pretty much all we are missing. Let's grab some bottles. Can't grab any of the dishes, though. I'm gonna unequip that because really... I don't want to accidentally throw anything. Wine bottle. Mm. Flint and fire steel. Candlestick. Alright. Ooh, I can hide under the table? I can. Okay. Good information. We're learning a whole bunch of stuff about this game, guys, and I'm really excited to just keep going. So, what I'm going to do... Let's pretty much end the episode here. Though, I really... Oh, there's a ladder there? Do I go down it? Yeah. So, I think we're going to stop here. Right at the... What is this? The screaming door or something like that? And we will pick this up next time. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested with a full series of this. But I do plan on making a couple episodes anyways. There's a few quests. Uh, it's on Steam Greenlight. I'll, of course, link that in the description down below. I suggest picking it up. It, it It's so far really fun. Uh, but if you just want to stick around and watch me play it and save yourself some money, go ahead and do that as well. Uh, that's what, in my opinion, best thing about Let's Plays. So... Go ahead and check out my other stuff. If you haven't done so already, I do usually use some creative builds. Um, in fact, this is kind of good to break away from doing creative stuff as I can kind of get inspiration for other creative uh, builds in my other series. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching and hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time in some Ghost of a Tale. This adorable little mouse's adventure.